What's up, my YouTube friends? Johnny V here. I had a couple people ask me about the um, Baccarat, about the, the dragon and the panda bats and all that kind of stuff, and um, maybe the Super 6. I'm going to go ahead and try to explain some of that to y'all right now. Um, to get started, you always take the first card, and whatever that card is, that's how many you burn. So you burn three, and you know, you burn them up. I'm trying to do this one handed, so sorry. I'm going to show you a couple examples. Okay, the player. Player shows four. Banker has six. Okay, card for the player. Okay, so now the banker wins six over four. When the banker wins with a total of six, that's called the super six. Some games, instead of having the regular commission where they pay 5% on winning banker bets, they have they have the super six. And in the super six, you only the winning banker bets are only paid half price. So they only paid one to two. So if you bet if you bet fifty bucks you get twenty five bucks. If you bet twenty five bucks you get twelve dollars fifty cents. So yeah, that's how the super six works. The player bets obviously the player bets lose and the, the winning banker bets get paid at odds of one to two. They get paid half of what they bet basically. <clears throat> Let's show us. I know I have I have this set up so so um we'll see what we'll see what it has. I think I forgot what <laughs> player shows one. Banker has five. Okay, so obviously a card for the player. Players increase to five, but remember the banker has a draw on five. Okay, so the banker wins again, six over five. The banker wins six over five. So again, this is uh, the example of a super six. The super six, the winning, uh, if you bet the super six, you know, the prop bet, some places pay 12 to one, some places pay 15 to one. Uh, if you don't, you want to look for the 15 to one because the 12 to one has a 29.9% house advantage. Okay, so player player shows four. Not really show it, does it? <laughs> player shows four. Banker has one. Okay, this is gonna be a two card draw. Card for the player. Players increase to eight. Banker has one. Obviously gonna draw. Okay, so the player wins. Players win eight over seven. And this is the example of the the panda eight bet. <clears throat> the panda eight is when it's a side bet, but it's when the player wins with a total of eight, and it's not a natural. The naturals don't count. So when the player when the player draws the eight and wins, so th those bets are paid twenty five to one. The the, uh, the side bet if you bet on the on the panda side bet pays twenty five to one. So all player bets win obviously, and the banker all banker bets lose. All right, see what we got coming next. Kind of hard dealing with one hand. My photographer uh, decided not to show up today. Player shows two. Banker has four. Okay. So card for the player. Players increase to four. But now the banker needs to draw a card. Banker wins. Seven over four. Banker wins with a total of seven. Okay, this is an example of the, uh, the dragon seven bet. When the banker wins with a three card seven... The, uh, the banker side bet is paid at 40 to 1 odds. 40 to 1. 4 0. So, the banker side bets are paid 40 to 1. But this is an example of, of the the game that doesn't have a commission. Well, it has commission, but it's built in right here. I'm going to explain why. <clears throat> when the banker wins with a 3 card 7, the banker bets are not paid at all. All the player bets lose, and the banker bets are not paid at all. So, it's a push on the banker bets. So when the banker wins with a three card seven, then you know this is a special special type game to speed up the game. You know, regular banker bets are not charged any commission, but when when the banker wins with a three card seven, <laughs> you don't get paid at all. So that's the bad part, you know. So instead of you know paying commission the whole time, you know, say you bet fifty bucks, is that's two two dollars and fifty cent commission that adds up after a while. So if you, you know if you bet seventy five bucks, that's what three dollars and seventy five cents. So you know to keep tracking the boxes and everything and all that stuff and um. Uh, after a while, it adds up to like maybe 50, 60 bucks, you know. So, you know, here, if you bet $50 on the banker, you don't get paid anything. So that's like almost like a $50 commission. So, you know, it's it's good and bad, you know. Uh, I was going to say when the Super 6 bets, uh, the, the the house advantage is uh, it's increased a little bit to 1.2%, 1.24% on the uh 
I'm sorry, 1.45% on the Super 6. A regular banker bet, you know, if you pay commission on the 5% commission every time, it's 1.06. But uh, if you if you play in the Super 6 game, the uh, you wind up paying about a 1.45%. So, so, you know, but it makes the game go so much faster. So, you know, it's a give and take kind of thing. All right, let's see what we got next. It's hard to deal with one hand. <laughs> I can barely do it with two hands. <laughs> Player shows Baccarat. Banker has Baccarat. Okay, it's gonna be a two-card draw. Player remains at remains at nothing. Banker wins with an eight. Okay, so banker wins eight over nothing. That's great. I don't know if I got any more hands set up. So if you have any questions, put them in the comments, and I'll try to I'll try to answer them best I can. Player Baccarat again. Banker five. Okay, so the players increase a two, but remember, banker stays on five when the third card's a two. If this third card is a four through seven, the banker would have drawn a card. But the banker here wins five to two. I'm getting better dealing with one hand. Hmm. Player shows two. Banker has nothing. Give me a two card draw. Players increase to eight. Okay. Oh, tie hand. Oh, so close. It was almost a panda bet again. Almost a Player, player almost won with an 8. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm going to use this video. <laughs> kind of tough. Player, nothing. A lot of monkeys in this. Banker wins, natural 8. Alright, so y'all get the y'all get the uh, the gist of it. Right? If you have any questions, drop them in the comments and I'll see if I can help you out. But remember, uh, on a Panda 8, if, they, if you bet the side bet, it's if the player wins with a 3 card 8, it's 25 to 1. And if you bet the dragon seven, you can bet them both at the same time. It doesn't matter. If you bet the dragon, the dragon seven, if a banker wins with a three card seven, if the banker wins with a three card seven, it's 40 to one. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments and I'll try to answer them. Peace.